Hey Bill, how was your how was your morning? So far, so good. I had a meeting where we accomplished absolutely nothing. How to spend four million dollars of government money on a grant? And um, now I'm here with two of my good friends, getting ready to do my other job, well, the I'm NFL draft. Well, welcome to Mary's Bagels. Introduce, introduce, hey, introduce. I, I, I know this place. I know I know this place, and I know the Murray's up there. Yeah, I see your picture up there in the wall behind you. That's right. right. Please introduce your friend. Oh, this is noted author and world-famous person, Will Mara. <laughs> Hi, Will. How are you? How and are everything you he says is important. Yeah. Tell us about your book. We're trying to get my wife to believe that, too. Oh, my book. Yes, well, I brought people. a copy of it with me just in case somebody uh, actually asks. This is my book, The Draft, and it's about, you ready? The Draft. <laughs> <laughs> and just in case we're sure that it's really me. See? I'm so poor from being an author, I'm wearing the same jacket that I was wearing in the picture. Yeah, actually, it is the same jacket. That's how well, it's, that's how well the book's doing. It's doing very well. It's about the NFL. If you don't like football, I wouldn't suggest reading it. If you do like football, you'll read it or else we'll hunt you down like a wounded animal and make you read it. That's all I have to say about it. Well, you know, I left the hint that the basket of books for reading material outside my bathroom. Your book is right on top, so that was a hint for Zenny. And there's Zenny. no other books in there at all. Right. Well, right. There, there's a few, but that, I, but that was for Zenny last night, in case he had to have a long... You might want to, uh, you might... Follow my eyes to move the camera. Yeah, baby. I can't you have a white angle lens on that thing? <laughs> You can forget about the two of us being here and just focus on what's important. <laughs> I'm a little edgy because I just drove into the city and you know how that does. Well, <laughs> oh, don't drink any more uh, uh, triple triple lattes for right. a couple of hours. No, that doesn't, that doesn't put me on edge. Just one, a little one bit. One commute into the city is what puts me on edge. So let's see. Okay, so we, we're all agreed that the worst draft pick of all time, number Ryan one overall pick, is Ryan Lee. Ryan Lee, yeah, I, agree. I think it's Ryan Lee. Which yeah. is a shame because well, he had some real talent. Ryan Lee it was like two different Ryan guys. There was the Ryan Leaf in college and then the Ryan Leaf in the pros. It was like two different guys. It's like that identity theft movie with, uh, yeah. with uh, now, what's his who, name? Matt who's Dave? the other one? Todd Marinovich. Ah, Todd Marinovich. Raider. That's oh. right, yeah, okay. Well, he's Lawrence, a very close second. Lawrence Phillips is a bust. He wasn't well, the first he's, overall. He's, or he's was he? 2B. No, he wasn't. Yeah. He's 2B. And also, uh, if, what's his name? If, um, if Ryan Leaf is 1 and Todd Marinovich is 2A, then Lawrence, Lawrence Phillips is 2B. Phillips is 2B. I see, and yeah. what's his name, too, uh, in my opinion? Demetrius Underwood. Okay, what about uh, Steve Inman? <laughs> Steve Inman? Yeah. He, he was a bust from the minute he took his first shot of anabolic steroids. He was a bust. Yeah. I'd agree. You know, along with Tony Mandridge. You know, I mean... Because Let's face it. The thing about Demetrius Underwood is that he was like from nowhere, and he was, and he really had loads of potential. Every time he was on the field, he was great. But it wasn't like he wasn't fighting with people. It wasn't drugs. He just like lost it. He just lost it. He's a classic example. Everyone paying attention. He's a classic example of I have the physical skills, but mentally I can't make the leap. Everybody thinks if you're six foot five and two hundred seventy pounds, you can play in the league. He's a classic example of how that's not true. Because physical gifts he had. He was one of the best in his position of his time, and he get right as soon as he got into the league, boom, nothing. He just winked out. But he had a lack of aggressive motivation, and most coaches will tell you, you could have the triangle, you could have the height, the weight, the 40 time, you could run a three-cone drill in five seconds, but if you don't have the mental capacity to make the step forward and play at the next level, well, you know what the problem is. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna blow, you're gonna blow that signing bonus, and that's gonna be the only money you ever make in, in professional sports. But with Underwood, the problem was, did, did you ever hear the story? His mom was heavily into like religion and kept impressing upon him making that kind of money as a sin. Absolutely. Oh, and so really screwed him up. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Need some help? Don't get this on for Kevin. His mother is like, even after he got his signing bonus and was making millions, his mother was still standing on the street corner with a microphone telling everyone they were going to go to hell. Yeah. So you can imagine what it's like living with that every day. Hey, question. What should we expect for luncheon today? I don't free know. Food. Free food. Is there a microphone? Is this on? Yeah. Oh, okay. Free uh, food. Free food. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully halfway decent free food, but you know, basically the main thing is this is a meet and greet with the players, their agents, their families. Uh, there'll be a lot of 
well, you know, you hubris. were there last year. There'll be right. There'll be a lot of hubris. There'll be a lot of people walking around uh, with audio recorders and microphones, like myself, like yourself, like you right now, yeah, right, like right. you right now, Zenny. Who me? Yeah, who you? No. Yes, yeah, you. <laughs> oh, no. Is this the good one? This oh, is the good one. Excellent. Yeah, this Mac, this MacBook is excellent. Yes. Uh, yes. May I admire it from afar? Uh, sure, from afar. Okay. <laughs> well, he, he has a white one too. Will I'm going to be using the white one on Saturday. And how old is that one? How old is it, the white one? Uh, about a few months, I think. This few months, brand new. Yeah, this is two months old. And the white one's not that old either. Wow. Yeah. I love as, the keyboard. As compared to the seven-year-old iBook sitting in this bag. Wow. We're gonna drop that off hey, so I'm gonna be the one to ask Brady Quinn the onion story, okay? Me? Me. Well, you. Because I, I have the camera. Well, why don't you bring this with you? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And see if you can Turn see it. Around. See if he will. Uh, see if he will um, confirm the quote. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Brady Quinn you. says, I'm going to be a bust. Now, does he mean a bust in the draft, or does that mean he's going to be so famous that one day they'll make a bust of him? <laughs> That's a good question for him. <laughs> you think? It sounds good. We'll see what happens. All right. My, uh... Yeah, I fly very well. Open it up there. I'm sorry? We open it up there. I'm trying to find... There, there's such a lavish selection of goods. And I'm having trouble making a decision. <laughs> there is actually. Orangina, yeah, that's yeah, in have the a basket retro, up there. That's in the seventies retro Oh section. my god. Orangina. <laughs> uh, not to be confused with Murray's main court, but of course. Alright, shall we? Uptown. And now we are going to walk down twenty third.